Hi guys and welcome back to the Pokemon Empire. Uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, how to set up a trade, a Discord trade bot for Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Um, a while back I posted a video on how to set up a Discord trade bot uh, for uh, the Sword and Shield, uh, BDSP, PLA, uh, Scarlet and Violet, all that good stuff. Uh, those are all ba based on the same uh, sysbot.net hub. Um, so, and that is, uh, made by PK Hex, I believe, is the one that makes it. Uh, I'm not quite sure on that. Uh, but anyways, they don't offer the support for, uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee is an independent project, uh, that somebody else made. Uh, so you're going to need a different bot hub. Um, so as far as setting up the trade bot for Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, um, it's pretty much the same as Sword and Shield or any of the other games. It's just going to be a different bot hub. Um, so if you're looking for information on the LGPE bot, uh, on how to get your, uh, create your bot in the Discord developer portal and invite it to your server uh, and get it all set up and all that good stuff, uh, you'll want to go back and watch my previous video because um, I really don't want to go through all that again. Um, so I'll have the link for that video in the description. Um, and I'll show you uh, just uh, what you need to get the Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee bot. Uh, so what we're going to need to do is go to our browser. we we'll add a new window. And you'll want to type in uh, Sys Encounter Bot. Sys Encounter Bot. And you're going to want to go to this one uh, that says Manu 098VM SysEncounterBot.net. Close that tab, and we'll just go here uh, to the latest release. Uh, latest release was November first, twenty twenty-two. Uh, so you're gonna want to download the Sys Encounter Bot uh, zip, or whatever the latest whatever the latest version is that they have here. All right, so we'll let that download real quick. Uh, like I said, pretty much uh, everything in my previous video is gonna be the same. Uh, it's just a different uh, bot hub that you're getting. Uh, the other the other bot hub is has all the other games built into one, uh, and LGPE is uh, separate. All right, so we have that downloaded. We'll go to our downloads folder, and we'll extract that. And we'll just drag it out here. All right, so here we have our Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee uh, EXE. Let's open that up. And we'll go to our hub. Uh, so it looks a little different than uh, the previous bot hubs for Sword and Shield and PLA and all that. Um, so the only things you're really going to need to mess with is your Discord integration. Uh, and this right here, the LGPE Encounter. Uh, you want to... Scroll that down, screen off false encounter type. You want to change this to trades. And that's pretty much it for that. So we can close that one. And then we just need to go down to our Discord. Um, and we'll get our Discord token. Like I said, that's in the previous video. You can set your trade prefix. Uh, if you're running two bots on this same hub, uh, if you want to async command, you put that to true. Uh, that lets the bots operate. Uh, you're running two bots, but it operates as one uh, to get your queue times lower. Uh, bot game status, hello response. Uh, I went over all this in the previous video. Um, so, and then your channel whitelist. Uh, if you want your bot to just be able to talk in any channel, uh, just block it manually. Uh, and then you'll just uh, leave this to anyone allowed. If you want your bot to only talk in certain channels, you'll want to put your channel IDs here. You just click Add, and then you can put your channel ID there, and you can name it or whatever. Uh, so if you don't really care about what channels it talks in, you just want to block it in your server, uh, then just leave that blank and leave, make sure it's anyone allowed. <clears throat> 
all this. Uh, go over all that in the previous video. Uh, the only other thing you're needing to mess with is the folders. You'll want your dump folder. Uh, of course, your dump folder location, uh, which is already uh, already here. Now, if you move this folder uh, to somewhere else, wherever you initially open this folder at, uh, it'll be a different distribution path. But say I rename this folder. So let's just say uh, we'll name it uh, LGPE bot. Oops, I have to close this out. Okay. So now we name the folder LGPE bot. Now when we open up our exe, this dish, uh, this uh, dump folder path isn't going to be the same. So it still says this encounter bot uh, 2.6.4. So we'll have to change that in order for it to dump files in the right place. Uh, so that's just if you rename your folder or you move it to some to a different location. Uh, so all we need to do to fix that, just go here to our dump folder. And then copy this and paste it right there. See, now it says uh, LGBPE bot dump. There we go. Uh, so that's all you have to do to fix that. Um, and other than that, I mean, it's pretty much ready to go. Uh, we'll just go over here. You'll type in your IP address uh, for your switch. And you want to put it on, make sure it's on LGPE and counter bot. And then hit add. Uh, and then, like I said, once you have it, uh, everything set up in your Discord and all that good stuff, um, you'll just hit start, and you should be good to go. Uh, so that's pretty much the only difference uh, for the LGPE bot is a different bot hub, uh, but everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, so if you have any questions, uh, have any other videos you would like me to make, uh, just let me know. I have a link to my Discord uh, where I run all my bots for free. Um, so yeah, and like I said, I'll have a link to the previous video in the description as well. Uh, so you can follow that tutorial on how to get your um, bot application uh, created in your Discord developer portal and invite it to your server. Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoy this video. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know.